this week to be able to give you a new lamp that I got. So welcome to the new house. And here we go. Kind of big. Looks great. Needs a ton of work. I've been slaving on it for a month now. No uh, rest in sight. Full time job. Now I'm renoing stuff. I'm still collecting. Crazy. Well, welcome to Monmouth Manor. Circa 1911. Tudor Revival. And I have a few lamps in here so far. But the lamp collection is going downstairs. And as I unpack them, I kind of put them around. So the vases are up there. I haven't found the I haven't found the fonts for them yet, but no big deal. Cool thing about this house, it has a lot of real original period lighting in it that's not been played with. Um, you know, original pan lights. It's got tons of windows. Lots of, you know, 12, 12 over tops. It's got leaded glass on the front. Tons of light. That's to the second floor landing. Original original lighting and there's some lamps in the in the like the butler's area that's the regular staircase servants staircase or service and then in here this is where you know somebody put a call it a boob lamp i guess and uh, i have a nice really nice vintage lamp ready to go for there and that's my student lamp over the wife's desk this would have been the butler's pantry it's been converted into a temporary kitchen until they built the new kitchen on somewhere in the 80s we're gonna rent all this and this light here i really hate it's so 1970s and i think i have a light ready to go for here too so anyway walking through the dining room here i have that floor lamp i just put it there the one that i just got last week and uh, here's some more period correct lighting original to the house and we're walking back through so the lamp i have this week is in the informal parlor i guess they call it so up here they have a lot of these pencil prism lights wish i could put these on a dimmer but i can't because there's no grounds um wiring this place is kind of old for some of the lighting but uh, these are original uh 1911 1912 uh, pencil prism lights and they had them redone and then in my area here, I have um, I have this lamp. I think I showed this before. So that's a Miller torch lamp. Have these set on a timer to go off at a certain time. Got this guy today. Salem Brothers. Called Butterflies. Very nice. All original. It's got one crack on either side. Hard to tell. But the oil lamp I have today is this guy. This thing is big. Hard to see how big it is, but this is the biggest banquet lamp I've ever seen. Um, heavy, heavy base. Um, Manhattan brass. Um, I believe it's 1891, at least the patents uh, would indicate for the flame spreader on top, which says Princeton. And uh, I got this today at a pretty good, really good price and it's all there and it, it actually the wick razor works and that uh, ball shade holder appears to be like a factory one I've never seen it's got a little split on it I mean this lamp would have been originally um, nickel plate it's been stripped the, the actual font comes out it's hard to pull out I need two hands I won't do it it's still got the nickel on it um, this lamp is I'd say fair condition uh, it's got a lot of little dents. It's had a hard life, but uh, it's all there. It's complete. It needs a little bit of TLC and straightening, uh, but there's no reason why this lamp can't work. Uh, good old, you know, center draft lamp. Let's see if I can pick it up at the bottom. It's kind of rusty in there, but that's, that's a piece of cast iron and the brass is wrapped around it. And then you see up here, that's where it, it breathes from. I don't know if those have been pushed in or not, probably. Uh, I don't know if straightening this is a good idea. I think just leaving it alone as a survivor, as I call them, leave it alone, straighten up this top piece. 
But uh, anyway, so back to, you know, the best book out ever for center draft lamps is the kerosene uh, center draft uh, lamp book by uh, Bill Corder. And it shows the story of Manhattan brass and such. And this is how I identified it by the flame spreader. And then also by the uh, filler cap, and the, the, wick ra uh, the wick razor, and then of course the uh, flame spreader. So anyway, I uh, got this lamp, uh, it was local in Eastern Ontario and uh, really, really nice lamp. But uh, don't have much else to really show uh, this week. Uh, the lamp workshop and museum is under, it was gonna be months before I'm ready for that. I'm basically restoring the house uh, before getting downstairs. Uh, like, I don't even have air conditioning here. This place, you know, the windows were literally painted shut and I've been opening windows and uh, trying to get some air circulation. And uh, that's kind of what I've been doing for the last bit, uh, you know, as well as a full-time job. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's video and uh, have yourselves a great day.